What's going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I love you guys so much and I hope everyone has been doing so well. If you're just now coming across my channel, my name is Tommy Martin and I am an internal medicine combined with pediatric resident at the University of Arkansas. And so what I wanna share with you guys and what I wanna talk about in this video is how I memorized everything in medical school. So make sure you stick around and hear my tips on how to memorize all throughout medical school and keep that knowledge into residency. All right, before I get to this video, I want you guys to know that you are greatly, greatly loved and that you and you are wonderfully and beautifully created and that you are capable of far more than you could ever imagine. All right guys, so let's jump right into it. And I've made videos similar to this before, so you may have heard some of the same stuff, but I wanted to make it again to reiterate and provide spaced repetition for you guys so you know how to memorize throughout medical school. So the number one piece of advice I would give is make sure to use spaced repetition. So I covered this in my memorization uh, tips video, the 10 best ways to memorize, but here I'll talk about it again. And so if you have a sheet of paper or say that you have a lecture tomorrow and you already have the lecture material so the first thing we're going to do is provide a five pass system to make sure to understand all of this information within the period of about 24 hours all right so the first pass will be pre-reading should only take about 10 minutes per lecture you're just getting the basics of whatever it is okay so 10 minutes of pre-reading your second pass of that material is going to be during lecture and this means being present at lecture not being present at on Instagram during lecture or present on Facebook during lecture it means being present in the lecture really trying to engage really trying to uh, make those synapses in your brain go off so that you can remember this information. The third pass is going to be after lecture or maybe that night before you go to bed. Um, and that is going to be your post read time. And during that time, this is where you're really spending about 45 minutes to an hour trying to get all of that information in your brain. You should have got the big picture from pre-reading and from the lecture. Now it's time to get as much information in this in your head as you can. And during this time, if this is your lecture material, which really this would be on an iPad nowadays, you are not going to look at this, okay, during your third pass, you are not allowed to look at it until you close your eyes and think for as long as you can until you cannot remember anything else from that lecture. You want to try to actively recall as much information as you possibly could from that lecture. All right, and then once you cannot remember anything for about five minutes, then you're gonna turn over your lecture, or open your notes, and try to see what you missed out on and what you didn't remember. Okay, so that there that is the third pass. And then the fourth pass um, will be the next day. So within 48 hours, sorry, so I guess it'll be a five pass system within a week, not 24 hours, that's pretty insane. Um, so it will be, uh, your fourth pass will be the following day where you're gonna review that material again. Again, you're not looking at it, recall as much information as you can and then see what you missed out on. And you'll see that these should be your second or your fourth pass, your fifth pass should be much shorter in time. So the time requirement to go through that lecture again is very, very short. And then your fifth pass will be on that weekend or usually within 96 hours of that first lecture. And you're gonna do it again, active recall, and see how much you remember. And then after those five passes, you should know the vast majority of that lecture. Okay, so that's five passes within a week. You need to see that same lecture again in another week, so just a quick review, make sure you're keeping up with it. And then after that, um, you can space it out to every two weeks and then about every month until your exam. And that's gonna help you memorize a very, very large portion of the material in medical school. So that's my number one piece of advice. And you can ask uh, Phoebe, my beautiful wife, in pharmacology we had to memorize like 400 drugs in a couple months. And I used spaced repetition and was able to memorize every single one of them by doing that. My grade in pharmacology was above 100% because using spaced repetition. And then the other thing that I'm about to kind of go into. So the second way to help you after, spaced repetition I believe 
will work for everyone. I truly believe that um, as long as you use it correctly, using active recall and things like that. But everyone learns slightly different, but I truly believe in active recall um, and spaced repetition using your mechanism of learning. Okay, so if you are more visual, then let's use microbiology for example, you might do very, very good with sketchy micro, but watching it once is not good enough. So what you need to do is utilize what I taught you in lesson one into whatever avenue that you learn the best, whether that's watching videos, using sketchy micro, using visual aids, whatever it is, and use spaced repetition with that. So with sketchy micro, you watched the uh, sketchy micro on say toxoplasma. So after you watch it once, you need to then watch it after, you know, watch it again, and then within 24 hours, see it again, within 96 hours, see it again, within a week, see it again. So use spaced repetition with that. All right, so the second thing, which I think is very, very important and helped me a ton, especially in pathology, is in working in groups. So when you work in groups and try to teach other people that material, the things that you do not know, they are going to point out and they are going to help fill in the gaps. But as you teach it, it's going to ingrain and make more synapses in your brain so that you're able to memorize that a lot more. So make sure to utilize studying in groups and you could even use that as one of your passes in um, the spaced repetition kind of a format that we laid out in lesson one. So studying in groups, not only will it help you memorize the material, it'll help you be a better teacher, it'll help you um, be able to recall stuff easier, So we're, and it makes it a lot more fun. It's so much better than studying by yourself and use that again as one of the ways of active recall. And then the third thing, which is a little, um, doesn't have to go studying too much, but is, and this is the last one I'm gonna talk about, is to make sure to get your sleep. Anything below seven hours has been studied and studied and studied and shown that it decreases our ability to process, um, process file and memorize material and to recall material. So you need to be getting at least seven hours of sleep every single night. All right, and I know that's hard in medical school, but I promise it can be done if you structure your schedule and stick to it. All right, guys, that is how I was able to memorize the vast majority of things in medical school and still be able to retain it throughout residency uh, and going into step one, step two CK, and things of that nature. So if you use these, uh, if you use these techniques, it should help you greatly throughout medical school in residency, during your in-training exam, at the very beginning of residency, and then for your boards. I hope these tips helped. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please comment below. And just comment anyways, because I love to communicate with you guys. And also, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button, and then go smash that subscribe button. All right, guys, that's all I have for you guys. To end the video with, I want you guys to know that you are greatly greatly loved and that you are wonderfully and beautifully created and that you are capable of far more than and you are capable of far more than you could ever imagine such as memorizing everything in medical school <laughs>